All right, we have another trade to break down. This time, it's involving the Atlanta Hawks, a team that's been pretty desperate to make a move before free agency. Now, the Hawks are trading away John Collins to the Utah Jazz in exchange for Rudy Gay and a future second round pick. Now for the Hawks, this was purely a money transaction. They What they wanted to do is they wanted to get rid of John Collins' contract for mainly because, again, there's been fit concerns with him and Trey Young. John Collins has also been unhappy. But also from their flexibility standpoint is that they realize that they can't really win with this core group that they locked in. So now they're trying to pivot and trying to potentially get another star next to Trey Young. So in order to do that, they needed to clear up some money. So moving out John Collins at $78 million is definitely going to help them out. They also get a $25 million trade exception they can now use in future trades. So that's really going to help them out. They've been linked to a couple of stars like Pascal Siakam and other names as well. But for the Hawks, they wanted to get rid of this player and they did exactly that. Now for the Utah Jazz, this is a very interesting move. Adding John Collins to a front court with Larry Markin and Walker Kessler actually makes a ton of sense. You know, Larry Markin can be that floor spacer. He can spread the floor. They can share that touches between them. John Collins will bring that athleticism. He'll be a you know a very a rim runner. He can play off of Lowry Markkinen as well. And I think for John Collins, he won't have to take on a big load defensively because Walker Kessler will be there to back him up. So the Jazz can now play big. They can play small. But overall, it's a very interesting move to take a bet on a young star like John Collins.